So thanks so much for attending the first annual More Just, More Sustainable's Future Symposium. Uh, my name is Flounder Lee. Uh, I'll introduce myself a little bit more in a moment. Uh, we're incredibly honored and grateful to have you all here, especially all the amazing presenters. We'll tell you more about ourselves soon, but first a little bit about how this got started and what we hope the future holds. Last spring, our professor and mentor, Dr. Jane Grant, asked if we'd be interested in hosting a symposium to connect more established postgraduate researchers like, like Kate, whichever side of me she's on, <laughs> um, to the early stage postgraduate researchers like myself and Colette, or whichever side of me she's on. <laughs> uh, we thought it, this would be a great idea, but wanted to make it a little larger. I had previous experience co-founding an MFA exhibition that was meant to connect students in my graduate program at, at California State University Long Beach to the wider MFA community around Southern California and beyond and for our new student-led initiatives, connecting students to each other could be a success. Um, and they just announced their 16th annual version of that exhibition, uh, the Greater LA Area MFA or GLAMFA, um, which we'll put in the chat. Um, there are also, these, these kinds of events are also risky, uh, but I thought they're kind of worthwhile. So we really wanted to try to connect with PhD students at various stages around the world. Uh, my PhD topic revolves around mundane futures, but we knew we'd need to make it broader and at the same time more specific to have a successful symposium. So and I'm gonna pass it on to Colette. So, so um, we went with the broad theme of more just, more sustainable futures for the overall annual series but chose the narrower theme of multiple ecologies, diverse ontologies for the 2021 version. Karen Barad is a major influence for several of us. So the critical framework was important in drafting the open calls. We have paired some students from Concordia University with students from the University of Plymouth as featured presenters for conversational style panels. The open call went out worldwide, and we have amazing presentations from postgraduate researchers based in nine countries. Uh, we also decided to do the presentations in advance because we've all been to conferences where the Q&A and discussions is at a minimum because the presentations go over their time limits or have glitches or something. Um, so this way we have time to let ideas marinate and hopefully spur great questions and comments between the panellists and from the audience. So um, we'd like to thank everybody involved in helping this come together in just a few short months. Each of our doctoral committees has been integral in the process, as well as staff and other faculty members at the University of Plymouth, and especially Dr. Jane Grant, who, as our mentor, offered exceptional advice and guidance. Krista Lines and the Milieu Institute at Concordia helped us to connect with their students, and University of Plymouth researcher Stephanie Moran did a lot of work in the beginning and intermediary stages before stepping back to focus on her own PhD. We'd also like to say a big thank you to the School of Art, Design and Architecture at the University of Plymouth for their generous financial support, without which this symposium would be but a dream. We Just a little housekeeping. Um, first off, I think we're already reading ahead of schedule. <laughs> um, but if you have problems with the Zoom, um, first try exiting and restarting the Zoom. Uh, the link should work continuously for two days. So if you have problems, please try that first. Um, if that doesn't work, try restarting your computer or on IT Crowd, as they say, try turning it off and turning it on again. Um, but we'll, we'll try to help, but there's only three of us, so we're very limited on our technical ability um, to really be able to assist with individual needs, unfortunately. Worst case, if, if you're an audience member, you can always stream it on our Facebook page uh, which is more just futures, and I'll post that in the chat in a second. And for people watching on Facebook, we'll try to check there for questions when we get to the Q&A for each section. We value a diverse range of ideas and opinions, but bullying and harassment will not be tolerated. If you experience it, please let one of us know by private chat. 
uh, live captioning is available, click the CC button at the bottom of your screen to turn it on. Apologies in advance for any mistakes. AIs are just more than humans like everyone else. And that j bad joke was mine, so don't blame Colette for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we thought we'd actually introduce ourselves a little bit now uh, individually. So my name is Flounder Lee. My pronouns are he and him. I'm a white male with brown hair and a multicolored beard. I'm wearing uh, white headphones and a uh, blue long sleeve button up shirt. I'm in my messy studio with colorful curtains covering much of the mess. <laughs> I'm an artist, curator, and postgraduate practice researcher at, in art and media at the University of Plymouth, pursuing my PhD in art and curatorial practice, looking at mundane futures. Before this, I was a full time professor of art for 12 years in the US, Malaysia, and Dubai. Um, I currently live in Florida, which is the stolen ancestral lands of the Seminole and Temecula peoples, among others. I have benefited from settler colonialism and white supremacy, and I'm working to use anti-oppressive practice, which in my case means anti-racist, anti-colonial, anti-patriarchal, anti-heteronormative, anti-ableist, inclusive, and intersectional. And I'm using decolonial curatorial activism approaches in my work. Yeah, thanks. Um, thank you, Flounder. So, hi, I'm Kate Paxman, and my pronouns are she, her, and I'm a white female with grey hair, and I'm wearing a black sweatshirt, and I'm sitting in front of a window. Um, I'll be in conversation about my research um, a little later on today. So, rather than risk overwhelming you with multiple iterations of my bio, which you'll hear shortly, um, I will just say that I'm a practice researcher at the University of Plymouth, which is a city that recently marked the 400th anniversary of the embarking of the Mayflower. Uh, in 16, September 1620, the ship sailed from Plymouth Sound and carried the Pilgrim Fathers to Cape Cod, the original homelands of the Wampanoag and the Norset. I acknowledge the ensuing painful history of genocide and forced removal from this territory and across the Americas. And I honour and respect the many diverse and indigenous peoples still connected to those lands. Thank you, Kate. Hello, I'm Colette Campbell Jones. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a white woman with long brown hair and glasses. I'm wearing a warm and woolly pale blue sweater, and I'm sitting on a black sofa in front of large bookcases. My home is San Francisco, California. San Francisco was built on the indigenous land of the Ohlone people. I have benefited from the brutality of both colonizers and slave owners before me. I work to expand my awareness and to cultivate right actions while I move through life. I received my MFA from the San Francisco Art Institute in California, studying under Linda Connor and Krista Lines. While still emerging as an artist, I went through a series of traumas resulting in a prolonged leave of artistic absence. By necessity, I made a permanent move to Devon, England, and I'm now thrilled to be starting my practice research under Jane Grant and Carol Baker at the University of Plymouth. I've been enriched by spending time with all of your projects. The quality of so many has really been outstanding. A deep thank you for all of your hard work for getting here and for all of your wonderful research. Um, so leaving comments, introducing yourself, sending questions and singing the presenters praises all happen in the chat. Uh, you can send questions either directly to the moderator or to the whole audience. Um, you can send them anytime. Um, we will be during each set of presentations the questions and answers for, from the audience will be towards the end, but you can send it as you think of it and we'll try to collate them. Um, you can send them either directly to the moderator for the panel the, or the whole audience. And when we get to the Q&A for each panel, you also have the option of raising your hand using probably emoticons um, and asking the question directly if you want. If you don't and you just want to type it out, we're happy to share it for you. Uh, we'll hopefully also have a few minutes, I think we'll definitely have a few minutes between panels for coffee breaks. Um, if you're anything like me, it's about 50% of my diet, so. Um, and we'll leave the Zoom 
open the whole time for you to chat amongst the panelists in the audience. Um, we can help to try to connect people after the symposium. If you contact us through More Just Futures or at our email address, which is multiple.ecologies at plymouth.ac.uk. I will put both of those in the chat so you don't have to try to remember them. Um, we are sincerely grateful for you joining us today and spending your time doing this. And we really think it's going to be an amazing symposium. Um, we are a little ahead of schedule now, so we'll take a few minutes, gather ourselves, introduce yourselves in the chat, please. Um, unmute yourself and say hi if you'd like, and then we will start the next panel when we've when everyone has arrived. So thank you very much.